I think I should join ISIS. Why? Because I think as soon as white Jews join an edgy thing, it's over. Did you just commit a low-level crime? <laughs> yeah. And then be like, yes, I did it for ISIS. Yeah, like if I'm just like, ISIS, mate, I've done it. I mean, this is an off lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So I don't know if that book has any sentimental value to the flat owners. Yeah. I think uh, I'll, p I'll just put it. I'll just put it okay, back. Okay. Cool. I'll just put it back. Cool. I'm still part I'm, of ISIS, but you know. Just because you're in the flat doesn't mean I'm, you occupy. I'm the a flat. moderating influence. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that this flat is occupied. I'd just say it's sort of like protectively engaged. From my perspective, I think it's quite sad that. Seemingly, people across the world have this perception that um, Jews and Muslims hate each other, born out of that conflict. Which I think is really sad because... When it's really just you and me who hate, who each, hate each other. Clearly, yeah. and I think people who don't understand this should know that we're spiritual descendants of Abraham, we're basically cousins. Yeah. But we obviously both love hating stuff. So from my perspective, it's like, why don't we just hate the same stuff? That's exactly how I feel. Right? Like, like the Nazis, for example. Obviously, yeah. Jews hate the Nazis. We don't mm -hmm. need to go into that. It's yeah. obvious. And Muslims, we hate the Nazis because they didn't get the job done. So why don't we just <laughs> hate the Nazis? You know, it's funny because Nazis love you guys. Do they? They're, yeah, huge fans of anyone brown. They're just, yeah, I'm not sure if you they, knew they that. We would have been, been fine yeah. if they did won the Second World War, I'm pretty sure. I just think that, you know, Palestinians don't really understand the Jews who live in Israel. Like they think that Jews think of them as the enemy when really like they just need to see like a bit more of Kirby enthusiasm to realize that like Jews enemies are themselves, like themselves and their families. Like if you saw our personal lives or our interior lives in a more familiar way, you'd be like, these people just have enough on their plate. That's one of the toughest things about being Palestinian probably is that you have limited access to Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm because Hamas TV rarely airs it. I think one of the big things is who, whose Hamas is better, right? So why can't we just have a massive Hamas off? You have your Israeli top chef, well, I'd Palestinian rather... top chef, and then Olivia from the Cotswolds because she's middle class and English. She obviously should be the adjudicator of, uh, over who has the best Well, Hamas. I actually think that I'll cede that point to you because you guys love Hamas so much that you voted for Hamas as president. My issue is the way Israel was created. Sure. And did it need to be there? For example, couldn't they have just occupied Disneyland? Sure. Because that's fun. Or Disney World. If we were in Disney World, you'd be like, look, at it's this massive conspiracy. They need all of Disney World. Like, they just, are they're not, they're not satisfied with just being scattered around Disney World. They just need to control the whole thing. It would be better security at Disney World if Israelis were running. Yeah, because there's a wall that runs around it, right? So you guys would love it. <laughs> we can make all of Israel into Disney World and just do Israel Disney. If we can have our own small world after all, then I think we're, I think we're done here, actually. Great. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, great. I think it's... You did it, guys. No Nobel Peace Prize is in the mail, I assume? Amazing. Yeah. All right.